context and data flow diagram sample 6 voice over internet protocol VoIP. Now we're going to take a look at VoIP and firstly what is VoIP? So voice over internet protocol transfers voice calls through the internet and connects users using the internet protocol, their IP address. Providing an interface that enables users to connect with a traditional telephone network using the internet data as opposed to traditional telecommunications mediums. So obviously telephone lines are usually wired in the road and when you pick up your phone and call someone, it uses those mediums to call someone. So essentially what's happening in this system instead with VoIP is I can call someone from my computer and they can answer it on their telephone that uses the traditional lines. Now a VoIP allows for phone calls to be made to any telephone across the globe. Calls are often cheaper as the internet carries the data for free if both ends are using VoIP. Then there is no commercial telecommunications being used. So with the only payment being required for is for your internet connection. So pretty much you're already paying a monthly fee for your internet. So technically the phone call is free. So there's an advantage there if we are calling people on both ends are using the actual uh, VoIP as their communication system. So that's the actual scenario we're going to look at the scenario of someone using VoIP to call someone else on their computer, okay, using the voice over internet protocol. So let's firstly take a look at it as a context diagram. So essentially we have the voice over internet protocol system. What we have first is caller one. And what caller one is gonna do is they're gonna open the VoIP app and then they're gonna enter the IP or phone number, okay, of the actual person they wanna call. Once they enter in that phone number, a request is gonna be made to caller two. Caller 2 essentially has to answer their phone, so they're going to answer their phone and verify and accept the call. Once they're verified then, Caller 1 can then start speaking. Okay, They're going to say, hello, how are you? That's their spoken message. That will go into the system. Okay, The system is going to digitize it and send it over the internet, and then that gets sent to Caller 2. So Caller 1's spoken message gets sent to Caller 2. What's Caller 2 likely going to do back? They're going to speak back. Okay, they give their own spoken message, go, hey, how are you? It's nice to hear from you. And then that will get sent back to caller one. And essentially that cycle continues as long as they're having a conversation through the VoIP information system. So let's build upon this now with our data flow diagram. So once again, we're starting with caller one. They're going to open the app and they're going to enter in the phone number or IP address that they wish to call. From here, okay, it's actually going to call the address okay, using it. So they have to connect to essentially caller two. They're going to connect to them and basically we need to then establish the connection. So now caller 2 has to come into play. They're going to see the request. Okay. And then once again, they're going to answer the phone and accept the request. And then the connection will be established. Once the connection is established, they can then start talking. Now, the big thing is that when they start talking, okay, voice is an analog uh, format. So the software has actually got to digitize as the actual callers are speaking to each other. So caller one's going to speak into the actual uh, microphone, okay? And then once it's spoken into the microphone, the app needs to digitize their audio in order for it to be sent over the internet using the VoIP protocol, okay? So it would digitize the audio from their microphone, okay? The digitized message is then transmitted to the receiver's IP address, and then the receiver will get the message and it will play through their speaker okay so once it's played through their speaker essentially callers one message is now getting the caller two they're hearing it through their speaker now as we said once caller two hears caller one's message they're going to do the same thing back so caller two is then going to speak into their microphone it's going to then get digitized okay by their microphone okay it will then get transmitted to caller one's ip address and then it's going to play the audio through caller one's actual speaker Okay, and then what, that's what that cycle is going to continue for both users. Okay, caller one and caller two will continually speak to each other. Their microphones will digitize their audio. It will get transmitted to each other's IP address, and their speakers will obviously play the actual messages they're sending each other. So I hope this has given you a simple understanding of how VoIP can work. Just remembering, obviously, with this example too, both sides are actually using the internet to communicate with each other. We're not showing an example where one side is actually using the telecommunications network to work with each other and we might do that in a future video but I hope this gives you a good intro into how VoIP works.